Hey everyone, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalkator. I'm very excited to be here with you tonight. So as you come in, please make sure you say hello. In the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. I would love it if you'd share this video. If you are catching me live, you'll see the big red live box in the upper left corner. And if you're checking me out on YouTube, you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel for some fun crafty videos. So Hey everyone, welcome. I have been working in the garage today. Super excited. Um, I did it on my own, so I'm really excited to share with you. And I hope it turns out the way I have it in my head. Um, but we'll find out here shortly. So, for those of you that are new, first off, I want to say welcome to all of our new followers. This is a company that is called Chocotour. So real quick, let me tell you what it is. We are a DIY home decor business opportunity where you can create beautiful home decor pieces, beautiful accessories, you can create t-shirts, and the way you can do that is through our products. We have amazing silk screen reusable transfers and they are reusable. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste that is made in-house. You can't find it anywhere else. And then we have our Couture inks. We do offer several services like chalkboards, box wood frames, canvas pillowcases, and totes. But you can do this on an array of surfaces. So you can do this on wood, tin, ceramic, dry erase board, glass, and then you can make t-shirts and dish towels, and the list can go on and on. Now, the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a home business opportunity to be a designer just like myself, where you will get this amazing kit that you see right here for just $99. You're going to get eight transfers, five chalk paste, two surfaces to chalk on, our catalog and apron, a squeegee, and then all the business tools that you do need to get this started. And it's just $99, you guys. That's crazy and amazing. So if you love what you see today, definitely reach out to me. Make sure you comment join right below, and I will make sure I send you the link to my opportunity group or answer any questions you have. Hey, Denise, welcome. So you guys, I was in the garage today and I was playing with wood and a scroll saw all by myself. So I'm kind of super proud of what I created and I can't wait to share it with you. And like I said, I have the vision in my head of what I want to do and it's kind of really easy, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So let me get my screens all set up here. Now, before you see those cute little things, these are actually the box. We sell these. These are a box wood frames. They, they come in three different sizes. So this is our nine by 12 box wood frame. Then we have a five by seven. Um, and then we have a six and a half by 18 and a half. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. So we have like a rectangle and then we have these two here, or then we have the smaller one in this here. So these are a nice wooden surface and as much as I like I could chalk so many pretty things on here I created these things today so that it's kind of like 3d so you guys are you ready to see this these are just pieces of wood look how cute so I have this little bunny hey Sandy I have this little bunny and then I did these little stars you guys so my plan is I'm gonna put this little bunny on here I'm going to do one with my stars. These are like the like Americana type stars there. And then I have to find a surface for him yet. I, I don't have any extra ones. But those are the three things I cut out today, you guys. I'm so excited. So I did do this on a scroll saw. And let me tell you guys, number one, I am not super handy, crafty, that type of way. Like I go to Pinterest all the time for cute ideas. And the reason I'm talking about that is, you guys, look, these are these are the templates. I mean, if you go and you type in star template, you're going to get templates. You're going to get, you know, I circle template. Hey, Jen, welcome. Bunny templates. I printed them out. This is just regular paper. This, And I printed it out on my printer. I traced them on these pieces of wood. Now, these... Honestly, let me see. Somebody did ask me about a measurement earlier, and I told her that it was about a quarter inch thick. So it's almost a quarter inch thick, okay? Um, I purchased the wood from Lowe's. It was just like a, a little sheet of 
I'm thinking it was pine and I apologize. I don't remember and I know you probably can't tell but I think it was just a little piece of pine about a quarter inch thick and I just I traced them using these templates. So I mean you guys you can see it's the say it's the little bunny, right? I traced this on the piece of wood and then I cut it out. Hey Jen, hey, welcome ladies. And I'm not going to say your name wrong cuz you told me how to say it. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> cuz I'll say it wrong. Okay. So, I lost my train of thought there. Sorry. Hey Nancy, welcome. So, that's all I did. Okay, I just traced them and then I cut them out with the scroll saw, you guys. So, and, and I don't want your mom and dad to get mad at me for saying your name wrong. So, I'm not going to say it wrong. Okay? All right. So, then all I did is I painted them with acrylic paint. You guys, nothing fancy. Just an acrylic paint I used. This is like, um, I think this was like a light aqua. Obviously, yellow and white. Painted it. Let it. it I let it, it. I let it dry. And then I absolutely use my Minwax finishing paste over top because I'm going to chalk these. Okay. So I use the Minwax finishing paste in natural. Hey, Katie, welcome. And I put the wax on top of there. And for those of you that are new, it is just a wax. You just take your paper towel, put a little bit on, you put it on your surface and you let it dry. Okay, so that is, I like to do that. Number one, it's good for your transfers and it's also good for the uh, design with your chalk paste. Okay, so now I have these cute little designs that I'm going to create. Now, like I said, I don't have a board for this one, so I'm going to just put him off to the side for right now. I'm not sure I'll do him. So I've got my two designs here. Let me put my box frames away and you guys, the prices on our box frames are amazing. And you know the beauty of it? You can chalk on the back or you can chalk on the front. Super awesome. But I do recommend if you chalk on these that you wax them. Okay? So now here's what I'm going to be doing. I am doing buffalo plaid. Oh, that looks crazy on the screen. Buffalo plaid on my bunny. And then I'm going to do the buffalo plaid on the star as well. So this is one of our amazing transfers that we have. And you guys, on the back of all of the transfers, when you purchase them, it does give you the directions how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store because these are reusable, like I said in the beginning of the video. So I'm just gonna take this out of here. Now, like I said, you guys, by no means, thank you, Jackie, I am not super crafty. I swear to you, I am not super crafty. I, I go to Pinterest a lot for cute ideas. And um, I just happen to think, oh, I kind of want to make some things. Like I said, I have a vendor show coming up this weekend. And I'm going to sell some of my finished designs. And I got to get some things put together. So I thought, why not do some stuff for Easter? Now, all you're seeing me do right now, yes, Denise, wax first, then chalk. Um, I'm just writing on the back of my carrier sheet because remember, again, transfers are reusable. So when I'm done, I'll clean this up with water. I'll wipe it off with a Clorox wipe. I'll let it air dry. And then I will, you know, be able to reuse this 8 to 15 times. All right. So this is a large transfer. So I am going to flip this over. And I'm going to remove my carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, with the larger transfers, you just want to be careful that you don't get the transfer stuck together because it's very, very hard to get it apart. You can do it with warm water um, and taking your time, but ooh, 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 you just don't want to get it stuck together if you don't have to, okay? So now I've got my transfer over here, and you guys, real quick, I'm actually going to put this down here because... I'm going to do my bunny on top of it. So I'm just going to take this and because I waxed it, I'm not going to fuzz this. I'm just going to take it. And actually I could probably do both of them. Ha ha ha. Check this out. I'm just going to do both of them at the same time. So I'm going to take this. And because it's a pattern, I'm not worried about where it goes. 
So I'm just going to smooth this out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screens. It's probably a little bit bigger pattern of buffalo plaid that I want to use, but it'll work. I think we'll be fine. Right? All right, so I'm smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. I don't know about the white one, but I think the bunny will be cute. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so for my bunny, I'm going to use the color Poppy, right? No. Oh, no, that's not my Poppy. This is Guava. I wanted Poppy. Is this Poppy? Ah, Peony, not Poppy. Peony, you guys. I'm using Peony. Um, Peony, I don't know if you guys know, is one of the Pantone colors of the year. And I just thought it was cute. I'm going to do the blue and pink, like I said, for Easter. Now, your chalk paste, you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. Your chalk paste is going to go on as a liquid and then dry as a solid. But if for any reason it isn't the consistency that you like, you just add a little bit of water and stir it up and get all those pigments blended together. And then you're good to go. Like, I like it when I lift up my little stir stick. I can see it run off of there. That's how I like my chalk paste. So if you guys have any questions as we're going along, please let me know. I would love to answer those for you. I'm so excited, you guys. You should have seen me out there with the scroll saw. I was going really, really slow, scared to death. Let me tell you, I'm not gonna lie, scared to death. Like I'm sitting here pushing it and I'm like, oh gosh, please don't break. Because the first time I ever used a scroll saw, every time I pushed it, my blade would break. I think we broke like three blades the first time we ever used it. And then we figured it out a little bit. We think it was like the tension and stuff like that. But anyway, I did it by myself today. So I was so excited. All right. So anyhow, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. So now I'm just going to take my squeegee. I'm going to dip it in my chalk paste. And then I'm going to pull it across my silk screen. And I'm only going to do where my bunny is, right? Because I don't need to do it anywhere else. So it doesn't matter if you go up or down, left or right. You guys know I say it all the time. You just want to make sure you're applying pressure so that you get it through that silk screen. Okay? Any excess you're scraping off. And I am going to peel this one up before I do our star because I don't want my chalk paste to dry. Now that's the one thing when you're working with the chalk paste, you guys, it does dry pretty quick. So you just want to make sure once you get your design on there, you get it up as quick as you can. Okay. All right. So I got one done. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Fingers crossed. It turns out like I planned. Let's see. Let's see. And look how nice it's peeling off because I waxed it. Oh, oh my God, you guys. It's so cute. Oh, look how cute. Here, let me. Oh, I'm going to put this down because I want to put it in front so you can see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how cute he turned out. Oh, my little bunny. I'm so excited. He turned out so cute. Okay. I'm going to set him off to the side and let's do our star. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. See, this is why I love our product. It's so awesome. All right. So this one, do I want to go red or do I want to go gold? I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to go red or gold on the star, you guys. What do you think? Red or gold? Because I'm going to do the little star with a blue. I just don't know. Which one do you think? Red or gold for the big star? I'll wait a couple seconds and see what you guys say. I love my bunny. I'm so excited. Here, I'm going to actually... I know, right, Katie? Isn't it so cute? Oh, I know on the cord of the hair dryer. That's bad. So I'm drying that up. I don't know what my watch, what my watch did there. So 
red or gold for the star, you guys. I'm just waiting to see what you guys say. Sandy says red. Oh, thanks, Shalene. Katie says red. Oh, gosh. You don't want me to do red. Red scares me. But okay. Red scares me. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let me get my red. Oh, Denise, you're saying gold. No. <laughs> I got two reds and a gold. I opened up the red, so we're going to go red. We're going to hope we're going to go for the Americana look. Okay. Oh, this makes me nervous. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm dipping in my red. My red chalk paste is pretty good, so I didn't add any water to it. All right, you guys. Going red. Oh, this one's making me nervous. So nervous. It's going to be good. No matter what happens, it's going to be good because we made it. Right? That's the beauty of DIY. Uh -huh. So that's one really nice thing that, um, like I told you guys, I have a vendor show this weekend. So the one really nice thing is the way you can run this business opportunity is many, many different ways. And oh, by the way, if you are local to me, I am offering these as a workshop. So you can do workshops, you can run vendor shows, you can sell your finished designs on Etsy, you can do social media just like I'm doing now. So there's a lot of different options for you to run this as a home business, you guys. So super amazing. If you want to learn more, like I said, just comment below, join, and I will get you that information. Okay, you guys, here we go. Oh, it's cute. Oh, the red turned out cute too, you guys. I'm happy, happy with it. All right, so now I'm just taking my transfer off of here and I'm going to throw this in my little tub of water over here. All right, because I got to clean that up. Oh my gosh, look how cute this turned out. Yay, it's so exciting. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to dry this up. Very cute star. You guys, if you love this and you think this is so cool, please, please share my video. I would love to share this with other people. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Veronica. This is so cute. So just drying this up. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, thank you, Denise. It's turning out cute. It's turning out just like I thought it would. So this is a good thing. Okay, so now... I have the little star, okay? So I'm gonna keep him off to the side. Actually, before I do that, I do have a little bunny tail. So I'm just gonna take, and by the way, I do not have a hot glue gun. I don't know where it went. Matthew doesn't know where it went. <laughs> so I'm using some wood glue to glue on my bunny tail here. And I know hot glue is a lot better sometimes, but so I'm gluing on his little tail. We're going to let him dry off to the side. I'm going to put this up there too. Thank you, Nancy. I know, right? It does. It shows great detail, Katie. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So for this one, okay. So for the vintage truck and then the um, camper, they both had add-ons that are still available. So this is actually the camper, part of the camper add-on. Um, hey, Sandra, welcome. And it has, this is actually for the back of the camper in the Buffalo plaid. And the reason I went with this piece is because it's such a small star. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Um, we'll figure it out. Not sure it's going to fit perfectly, but... As long as it fits, and then like if we can, I think I'm going to have to go like this, and then go 
Oh. I'm going to have to do part of it and then come back and do the top part once it dries. All right. It's okay. We can do it. It'll work. No, I don't like that at all. Ooh. Wait a minute. Let me go sideways, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Right? It's going to be tricky, but we'll figure it out. So I have to do part of it, and then I'll have to do another part of it. Okay, and like I said, this one I'm going to be using a blue. This is actually one of our older colors. Um, it's kind of like the coastal blue. So I've got to add a little bit of water to my chalk paste. It's turning out cute though. I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. This one's just going to be a little tricky because we're going to have to line some things up, but it'll be fine either way. Okay. Let me see here. And then I'll have to clean this one off so that I can line it back up. All right, so let's see. Let me get... I went with the coastal blue, Katie, so I'm hoping it turns out. Oh, it's cute. It's a cute blue. I like it. I do like it. I just have to clean this off and let this dry before I keep going. So I'm just using some Clorox wipes to clean off the chalk paste that I just did. And I gotta let this dry. I gotta dry that too. And then I'm gonna have to try to match it up. Oops, I got some paint from my star on the back. It must not have been dry. That's okay, not worried. It'll come off. Clorox wipes are the bomb. I didn't let my paint dry all the way on that, but that's okay. So always make sure your paint is dry on your projects before you chalk on them. <laughs> just, just a little tip there. Okay. And then let me get my hair dryer. Dry up the little star so I can... I'm going to try to line this up but I'm not going to make any promises, but I will do my best. I hope you guys are loving this. This would be a fun workshop. It would be interesting. All right. So I need to make sure this is also dry. So I'm actually going to my fuzzing cloth is behind me. I want to make sure I fuzz this up because it's still a little wet. So, oh, this is what you don't want to happen. Eee. You do not want your transfers to get stuck together. Okay, so I'm just drying this up a little better. That's all I'm doing. This is one of our fuzzing cloths. And I'll tell you what, I love these. We just came out with these and I absolutely love them. All right, so now I have to try to line this up. Let's see what we do here. So it was down here. Got that like that. So I'm gonna go like this. So I'm just lining up my squares. Okay, because I only have to do the one little side right there. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good upstairs, whatever that noise was. And again, scrape off any excess, put it back in the jar. Okay. All 
it's cute. It's not perfect because I messed up my little thing over there, but it's cute. It's cute enough, right? I should have moved it just a little bit. I'm fine with it. Okay, so now I'm just going to dry this one. And then he is going to go right on top, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to get some glue. Wish I had my glue gun. Glue gun would be a lot easier, I have to tell you. I'm 100% sure a glue gun would be easier. And I stick that right on top. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. Now my bunny should be good to go. So again, Sandy, I could redo it, but because I'm going to glue them down, I'm not even going to worry about it. Totally not even going to worry about it. I think it's still cute, honestly. So now all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my boards and I'm going to glue them right on there. And then, oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is my, I have some little string, you guys. What am I doing? I have some string. Oh, you always got to have string. Absolutely, Katie, you're right. Absolutely. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. And I'm going to wrap this around my bunny's neck. Let me see. I'm just going to take some, some ribbon and some twine. And I'm going to just tie it around his neck. Eh, okay, maybe just the ribbon. I don't like the twine. Don't like the twine. We're just going to do ribbon, you guys. No twine. I take this, tie it around. My scissors, just some regular ribbon. Again, not being fancy, just having fun with your product. Adding some cute little embellishment. You can play with that. You want to make sure it kind of goes down. And then I'm going to glue him right to my board. So again, just going to take some glue. This is wood glue too. So at least I'm using some wood glue. And I'm going to glue him right to my surface and then I'll let it dry and he'll be all set for Easter. How cute. Look how cute he is, you guys. Okay, and then let me put him aside for one second. Whoops, I'll put him down here for one second. I'm gonna take my star and again, hey Miriam, welcome. I'll take my star and I'm gonna put this right on there. One thing's nice is with the glue, I still have a little bit of play time if I need to move it around. But I think I'm okay with that right there. And then with this, I will need my hot glue because I want to add this little ribbon like right up top, you guys. So cute little embellishments. Hey, Connie. Hey, Deborah. Thanks for popping in. So these are the cute little designs we created. Like I said, these are the 9 by 12 box frames that we have at Chocotour. These I just cut out today. I know I told you guys a little bit more in the beginning. I cut them out. I used the buffalo plaid and the peony on the bunny. I used the buffalo plaid and just candy apple red on the star. Um, I used the mini 
this was the um, buffalo plaid pattern from our camper transfer and then I used like a coastal blue added some ribbon and embellishment and it's super super cute you guys I love it oh he's still not glued down all the way and I just used wood glue to glue them both down so what do you guys think which one do you like best let's let's see which do you like the star or do you like the bunny I want to see what you guys like the best and don't forget you guys um, if you're interested, I do have a private VIP group where I do a monthly chalk box. I do um, specials. I do bundles. I do giveaways in there. I know it's super cute, right, Jackie? I like the star, too. Um, I also am or If you're interested, I do have a opportunity group if you thought this was really, really cool and fun where you can learn about being a designer like myself and sharing the opportunity. And if you're local to me, I do offer workshops and I would love to do a workshop with you and your friends. We could create the cute bunny or the cute star or whatever you want, you guys. We have over 130 transfers. We have beautiful chalk paste. Yay, we got two stars and two bunnies. So like I said, you could add this to this or you don't even have to add anything. It's kind of really cute just plain like that as well. But you guys, thanks so much for sticking around. The designs came out pretty much what I thought they were going to look like. I'm very, very happy with them. And like I said, if you love what you saw today, please make sure you share my video. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oh, yay. You can't pick. They're both cute. Yay. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your evening, and I will talk with you soon. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.